The least action principle suggests that for open spacetime manifolds, data about the boundary can be obtained from the values of massless fields and their first derivatives. More recently, it was proposed that these data must be respected by t-duality transformations at order alpha, where alpha is a certain power of the string coupling constant. Additionally, the t-duality should not alter the direction of the boundary, implying that the base space metric must remain unchanged. If these restrictions are met, the transformation of the circular reduction of the parity odd part of the effective action of the heterotic string theory at order alpha under the Buescher rules is cancelled by total derivative terms and further t-duality transformations at order alpha. By using the Stokes theorem, it is shown that the boundary terms in the base space corresponding to the total derivative terms are precisely cancelled by the transformation of the circular reduction of the Gibbons-Hawking boundary term under the same t-duality transformations. This confirms the proposal that the data on the boundary for the effective actions at order alpha is indeed respected by the t-duality transformations. This article was authored by Mohamed Argarusi. We are article.tv, links in the description below.